The Fisher Foundation is primarily involved in community upliftment and in education and conservation. Our next initiative, we are going to sink a borehole for the Mdleche community and that's a wonderful initiative. Water is a scarcity in their particular village, which is on the fence line of the Shkretluwe Mfulosi National Park. We thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to make it interesting for their community by bringing up a, a former Bafana player uh, who played internationally, Mark Fish. And that was the reason we thought Mark would be a great fit here, because of shifting mindsets in the way you think about football can also translate into shifting mindsets in many other areas of your life. So today, you know, with the Fisher Foundation, fortunate and grateful to be here. But again, you know, we're teaching the kids new things, trying to teach them if we teach them something new or change something in their lives in, in, on, the, on the football field, hopefully they'll think differently off the football field. I think that's the key thing that we're trying to portray today, that if you look at life differently and you try different things, hopefully that you can see things differently and uh, hopefully for the better. So we can have change not only yeah, in this area, um, but you know, throughout the whole country. Um, I'm very happy to see uh, Mark Fish here. I've seen him on TV like when I was young, so for me to be here with him, I'm very, very happy and I think I'm still going to learn more for today. Because so far I've learned a lot at the moment. I'm still learning how to uh, coach youngsters and how to coach um, uh, uh, different people. Sport is uh, one of the means for children and youth of uh, Umkanyakuda and other rural areas to actually dream of the future. Uh, it's also a very important uh, part in life that is only carrying positive uh, influence. Uh, and that um, Fisher Foundation is realizing the importance of reaching out to the youth uh, and to use football as a tool is very powerful, uh, where we are working with life skills, of course, we are working with leadership and also giving the opportunity for young girls to pursue a dream and a career in uh, football. It's uh, a fantastic day. Uh, Mark Fish is uh, a name that is uh, going to live with us forever in South African football and for our coaches uh, that are out here to see that he is putting effort into the youth development that is the foundation of all our, both the football development but also a very important part of the community development. It's uh, amazing. Well done to the Fisher Foundation. I'm very grateful that I'm yet to, to add a little bit to what they are trying to do in the community, for the community, and you know, for, to teach the kids a little bit more about conservation, you know, knowing and for them to appreciate what is actually around them. So I'm grateful and well done to them and may a little initiative like this have a long and lasting effect, not only in this community, but to wherever they go. It's always humbling when you come to, these, um, to the rural areas but it's also an eye-opener to say, we know there's talent out there, what are we doing? Um, not only as, as, if we're talking about uh, individuals coming here, but as a, as a football, if, we, if we're talking football, as a football uh, community, what are we doing to uplift the, the football in this, in this uh, community? So we're in the Intekweni community, just north of the Hlhlui Umfalozi Park. And the Fisher Foundation is very happy to sponsor, as part of our community upliftment program, a borehole for drinking water for the local community. We are fortunate as well that the borehole area that we've identified is just merely 150 meters from the school where there are 400 children. Those 400 children during the dry months will have access to drinking water and they will also be able to take home with them in the evenings drinking water to their families. So it's a nice little distribution network. And what we did in conjunction with the borehole was invite three players from the DSTV Premiership side, Amazulu from Durban, who drove up and were amazing with the children, with Mark Fish again, showing them football skills. And overall, as a complete initiative, it went off beautifully and the community were ecstatic about it.
Yeah, today we are here as, uh, at Izin Tamba, in a primary school, in an area called Ntewini, north of KZN, just about 20 k's from Tutluwe. Uh, we were invited for this uh, very great initiative by the Fisher Foundation, who are donating a borehole so that the community at large can get uh, access to, to water. So and then invite for us to partner with them as Amazon Football Club through our community trust came. You know, it was just natural for us to jump at it because we are big on these uh, outreach programs and we feel that this is a very massive program uh, that they're doing. We are here with our players. We interacted with some of the aspiring footballers and we hope tomorrow a star can come out of this place. And um, yeah, we can only hope for the best and we hope the community can really benefit from this uh, borehole that's being drawn at the moment. Thank you very much. Yeah, and we are happy. Uh, in Ghana, it's called any Uguti, see inspire, score as Pam Wazo, and the Hebe was born into the world. And it's born again, if you foundation group. Thank you. I'm very excited to be the part of this uh, initiative that's done by Mazuli in partnership with the Fisher Foundation. It shows the great character and also a good thing to the community. I believe that every place deserves water and a good health, you know. What Fisher Foundation has done to, to this school, I wish they can progress and stay strong and keep on growing. So at the Fisher Foundation, we have already delivered on a number of projects in northern Zululand. We have a number of programs and initiatives that we are still yet to roll out as part of our ongoing commitment to helping and assisting the people in these areas.